Oh yeah. Welcome to my new tutorial on one of my favorite programs of 2013 or possibly ever called Trello, trello.com. So this is with every uh, website and any, any graphic, any project I do, I work uh, through this program along with Dropbox. Those two programs are pretty much uh, required. That's how <laughs> Uh, move forward with clients from the beginning forward win-win hashtag uh, just total efficiency and working in the cloud 2013 forward is the way to go trust me on that one from the web doctor so don't get overwhelmed by what you see here this is a pretty busy complex site I'm doing uh, called visionarygenius.com and but let's start a fresh board um, go here to Scroll down, let's get a new board cracking. The new site. Wow. So we've got a fresh board here, uh, as they all do, to do, doing, and done. That is pretty much the basics of Trello. Love this program. So typically I'll start with, uh, let's see, I need your host server info cool so you just click out that's been added this is waiting for the second task let's go to the first task click in here uh, actually my bad click out we want to sign at least one other member which would be the other person I'm working with which might be you so let's say uh, info at uh, superstarqr.com. It'll search the Trello data, database and pick them up pretty much immediately if they were already a member. They're not, so we click send. Once they, possibly you, that person is, uh, receives an email from Trello, they accept the invite, set a quick password, done. They've got an account, super easy. And now, uh, not only our, our shared project board, but you have your own account moving forward with any other projects you may want to do with other people. And the majority of people I've worked with have absolutely, uh, once you get around this tiny learning curve, really embraced the beauty of this program. Free. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it is. So once that person receives email accepted, there'll be a little circle icon here, which means they're live. So let's go back to, say, our first task. Click on that. Opens in a nice little light box. you got some cool little custom options here. So each task, you usually want to assign the two members that are... Uh, you know, involved in the, the site project. So I add both members, even though they haven't accepted yet. And you can see to this one task here and here that they are involved. So anything that's been added, responded to, image uh, file attached will be alerted over in this notification bar with a, a red little one or two or however many things have been done. So each party sees live and immediately what's going on. It's freaking awesome. So let's say user name for GoDaddy uh, or number. Many times it's a number, something like that. Password, what have you. You can attach a file, uh, which here that usually would not apply. We'll get to that. So common added, cool. You don't have to hit save or you just either X out or touch anywhere else. And there it is. And you can see. Uh, the overview, you know, one comment's been added. Oh, cool. And you would also be alerted here that something's, there's a notification that's been going on. Once you click on the notification, it'll take you specifically to that task. You can also see over in this menu bar what's going on, the activity. So uh, these are the three things that have been done. There they are. And uh, this is the latest. So let's say we add uh, typically Dropbox is very much involved. That's where all the web content usually goes. I need um, content uploaded to our new shared drop oops, box folder. And then an invite would have already been sent. Um, in case you're working with someone who's really maybe scattered, not really on top of their emails, et cetera. You can put a little note in there. I sent the invite yesterday, so double check. Add that. Cool. We have two tasks. Go into the second one. Um, 
get in the habit of assigning both members to every task. That way they're always, if they're not added to the task, they won't be notified if something's going on because they're not involved with it. Um, cool. Up, uploaded that. So the other party, something like uploaded just now. And that's really how most projects would start. And you are often running in a very efficient, no searching through emails, you know, responding six months later to under a different topic to that email and someone else is trying to find it via search, et cetera, et cetera. It's just everything can be seen here. So, so say there, that's been done, then you'll be notified. There's a notification. I click on the notification. It'll take me right to here. Oh, cool. Uh, this has been done as well. Oops. So you can drag it above, below. Usually keep it in chronological order. Uh, the bottom being the oldest first things that have been done and the top being the most recent. Um, say a screenshot, what about this website's menu? I like. So that's been added. Now we go back to that task, enter it, attach a file. Say there's a screenshot you've taken. You've seen another site, and you're like, wow, I really love the way this menu's done, or this font, what have you. Um, this is actually a WordPress designer. I was, he wanted my opinion on mobile view. I didn't like how this was looking. But anyway, so let's, let's say this is a screenshot. Right here you can see, whoops, it was processing. It was a very small file, so process very quickly. But if it's a large file, you'd see processing 30%, 40%, 50% uh, over here. So again, you don't have to hit save. You can just either X out or click here. It's automatically saved. And here you've got visual overview as well, not just text overview of what's going on. But um, And say, let's fast forward to, we'll go back to, say, as you can see, <laughs> I've worked quite a bit on here recently. Um, oops. Veronica's love. We'll go back to my bet. Um, the one visionary genius. So you can see a lot on the to do, the doing, and the done. I'm actually finishing this project tomorrow. So all of this should be in this section. And you can just see, whoa, it's all been done. Again, drag and drop. She attached some. Um, uh, handwritten notes and just took a picture on her camera phone and uh, uploaded it. So, so let me get out of that window. We'll go back to here. And that, my peeps, is Trello.com. Again, I just absolutely love this project. It's such a blessing that I came across and have embraced. It's, uh, again, hashtag win-win efficiency. Working in the cloud, that is the future. Uh, absolutely. No more searching, you know, oh, I have my flash drive, it's burned on a CD, it's et cetera, et cetera. So keeping all your content, your images on Dropbox um, and via folders, your master shared folder and subfolder. I'm actually going to do a tutorial on Dropbox, a real brief one. But thank you for listening. Tell a friend, spread the love and the knowledge forward. And uh, thanks for visiting. This is the web stylist, Sterling Williams, sitesbysterling.com, styling you for worldview.